Hi, my name is Jack. I'm a keeper here in the bird department here at the Houston Zoo. And right now I am going to guide you through the making of fishy goodness. Our entire bird staff is going to get together to prepare the diet for our baby Chilean flamingos. First of all, we have the scale, baby rice cereal, the blender, fish, we are using smelt and capelin, the vitamin supplement, which is added to the overall mixture, hard boiled egg yolks, and also shrimp which all of them will be pureed, processed together, and then put into the strainer. So right now, as you can see, our entire bird department is gathered together to work on this diet. The fish have to be de-headed and de-finned. Next, we have the shrimp. The shrimp have to be uh, peeled. Uh, we have the hard-boiled eggs, which have to be uh, opened. We're only using the yolks in this uh, formula for the baby flamingos, so the whites are being move to the side. They'll be used later for enrichment for some of our other birds. So right now we're going to start preparing purees that we're going to use in our finished flamingo formula. Typically we'll do this in two to three purees just because it's simplest to mix the ingredients. So for the first batch we're going to do our egg yolks. We're doing 360 grams of those, 360 grams of rice cereal, it's also including a uh, thiamine vitamin E paste, and that's just to provide some extra vitamins and minerals for the development of the chicks. We half a cup of the vitamin, or bionate vitamin paste. A cup and a half to two cups of water, and puree until well blended. After it's fully pureed, we take the mixture, we pour it into our strainer, and that's just to get out any of the large chunks that would be difficult for our flamingos to swallow. And then we begin with the next mixture. 360 grams of the fish. As we've noted before, they've had the fins removed, the heads removed, and then they were also diced up just to make them easier to blend. To that we will add, start with a cup of water. Now because the fish is going to be a little bit chunkier, it's going to take a little more effort to go through the strainer. Then we'll go ahead and do 360 grams of shrimp. These have been beheaded, peeled, and then also diced just to make them easier to blend. We'll add about a cup of water. Something like that may require a little additional moisture. Half a cup. So now we have all of our purees mixed together, so we're just going to mix them really simply right now, and then we're going to have to blend them again just to adequately mix all three components. Mm. Doesn't that look delicious? As you can see, each time we mix it, uh, it does get a little bit more blended and then a little finer as well. There we have a well-blended flamingo formula. Now we're going to divide up our flamingo diet. Some of it's going to be put in the refrigerator just to wait to be fed out later today. Some of it will be frozen. That just makes it easier to keep and helps it keep better for the next couple days so that we can just easily thaw out ice cubes of the formula to feed our flamingos at a later time. Isn't that wonderful fishy goodness? Flamingo tested, flamingo approved.